my kitchen's upside down and backwards because obviously I haven't been feeling great. Anyway, I'll show you what we're dealing with at the moment. If we can just get it cleaned, I can undecorate and de-decorate or declutter tomorrow. So I'll just show you, I'll flick these around and I'll show you what we are dealing with. Right, so over here, this is the back of me car. So I need to put that out. That's an old computer that needs to go. The table just needs clearing up around here. It's not too bad. So all that needs to go. Tomorrow I'll take down the Gartland, I think, and stuff. And the little Christmas tree. Hayley was saying to leave it up and we'll get decorations in America for it and turn it into an Easter tree. But like I'm still I'm still thinking it over. Flares there ready for the bin. The island. The dishwasher needs emptying, needs reloading. So if I just get it cleaned, I want to go through my fridge tomorrow, all that type of malarkey and get it all sorted. But as of tonight, I just want a clean kitchen so I can start getting rid of everything that needs to be gotten rid of. All right, guys, put the hair up. I am going to start on the island and just tidy this up. Then I'm going to move to the counters and then we're going to do the dining area because that's the only way I can do it. So I'm going to put you on time lapse and we're going to bomb through this. This is where I am at the moment. This is stuff that needs to go up to the bathroom. That's a melon, random melon. The tree, flowers need to go in the bin outside. There is some Christmas stuff there. Two bags of potatoes, but it's fairly clear. So now I'm gonna go and do this. This is gonna take a bit more time. We mightn't. That only took me about 10 minutes and I have to wipe all the units down like. But we're doing okay. We are doing okay. Alright guys, so the dishwasher's just finished while I was cleaning that side. Now I haven't cleaned it as you saw, I just wiped down the crumbs, but it's clear. So tomorrow I can start decluttering and not getting overwhelmed. I'm gonna, I am going to wipe down the counters. So what's left on here is this is for the bathroom, this is for the dishwasher. My work bag has to go out. Declutter tomorrow, bin, bin, wipe down counters. So not doing too bad on this side of the the room and I'm going to unload the dishwasher now. Right guys, so I think we're at a really good point in the kitchen now where it's clean. I can start decluttering and getting away everything over the weekend. I was going to do it tomorrow, but knowing it's what, 10 past two now, by the time I get to sleep we say half two. I'm up at eight o'clock in the morning for work. 
um, and then I've worked tomorrow night again. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I might actually give myself a chill day tomorrow and just do nothing and hopefully whatever I seem to be fighting that I can just kick it in the ass and it be gone and then I'm off all day Saturday. I am working Saturday night but it means I can have a good run then at decluttering and getting the Christmas decorations down and away and the usual rubbish. All right guys, good afternoon. And it is now Sunday. I took two days off because I was feeling shit. Um, I got pulled from my cardigan back in my wardrobe. Who'd have known? I actually hung it up, but it did fall down the back. Anyway, not the point, it was in the wardrobe. Very proud of myself. So today, obviously Carla's been up Saturday, sorry, Friday, Saturday. And I've come down this right. I need to undecorate. He took the tree down. I'll show you the front room actually. He took the tree. Oh, look, it's very dark. We turn the corner. So he took the the tree down. So the tree was in that corner. And he moved the sofa. Now we are getting a new sofa. I've actually should be here next week, I think. This is my wall. We took all the tiles off the wall. Well he did. I came down and all this was done. I was like, were you angry at someone? And he was like, yeah. Said, okay. He was angry at someone, so my wall got it, which I'm delighted with, because we've been looking at it and the tiles were falling off the wall and everything. The only thing is, all the sticky stuff was forever. See, you can see bits of it there. It was Every time he took them off, they took off the paint. But he said, Grant, we give it, so we're trying to decide on a colour. So that's what we're doing. The other colours I would say are like a taupe, mocha, like a, a light brown, a very light creamy brown. That makes sense. So I don't want to paint here cream. I'm not, we're not sure. But he said, look, it's done. We did fill some of the holes as well in the wall. There was a load of holes left in the wall. So we did fill them, fill them. But the tree is down. That's the tree there waiting for me to unclutter the, or undecorate the kitchen. I go in there and then we're going to store them up the attic. So for some reason, we've only got this bag, this box and another bag in the kitchen. But we seem to have tons of bags when we moved in. So now we just have to find somewhere to store them in the attic. And I'm half afraid to go up the attic because I don't know what state obviously the attic was left in. Not blaming the girls. They were studying for exams. They're doing their exams. But it now means that one of us has to, well me, has to go up and try and bottle my way through. Because the girls aren't back for another week and a half. So yeah, that's the way it's going at the moment. But anyway, I'll show you what we're undecorating today. So we have still left up in the kitchen. Take down the Gartland and all the decorations on us. I moved the orchids back here and put the fruit on this thing as well. These still need to go. I've moved the table out here and I like the table out here because I like the dog's food over there. Um, so I'm going to leave the table there. The Freeze, top of the freezer is bare. So we just need to get this bad boy down and put all the ornaments away and take it down. Get rid of my small tree and those flowers still need to go in the bin. So I am going to do that now. Um, and then we will just reorganise a bit of the kitchen. Right guys, I think we're going to have to take down those, uh, the baubles, the fancier ones I am going to put into a 
tin, an empty tin from Christmas just to protect them. And I think the um, the bubbles can be just put in the bag. But yeah, so that is what I'm going to do now. Take down this garlandy thing. Okay guys, can I just say, see this chandelier? This has to be my favourite Christmas ornament of all time. I absolutely adore it. Right, let's get on with the rest. decluttering and my kitchen and uh, yeah I had to stop recording when Carl came in because I couldn't get the garland down and I had to ask Carl too and we all know he doesn't like being on camera so um I stopped recording so then yeah once it came down we put it away and that's it now it is in my front room because I have to go up to the girls room because that's where I want to store my Christmas tree but uh I went up to see if there was a space and I promptly walked back down. So let me turn you around and I will show you what we've done in the kitchen. Okay, so starting over here, I actually sorted out my pantry. So this is what my pantry is looking like. It's actually nice and organized. So happy with that. So have that done. The island is clear by the milk because I'm going to make a cup of tea now in a sec. I took it out while I was sorting out my fridge. Along here is all cleared. This is some fruit obviously I'm going to put sort that out. That's the bread, butter and then this is a station I keep in my, sorry the light under the counter is gone. But this here is because it's beside the kettle Everyone in the morning goes for a cup of tea. So what I do is I keep everyone's multivitamins, magnesium, iron. That's my multivitamin. I keep all that there so it's to hand. So when you go to make a coffee, it's the first thing you come across and it's just easier to take. And I find everybody remembers to take them there. This is my was was milk frother, I think is the proper name for it. But we call it the was was. Um, and my mints. This should not be here. This is meant for my work bag. Take him out. This is a tea strainer. I usually leave the spoon in there. And that is our water. I'll have to fill that up before I go to bed to fill the kettle. Air fryer. A cooker. Now I'm going to show you down. I'll show you my fridge first. So this is how my fridge is looking. Carl and myself went through it. I just hold it open. So it's looking fairly organised. We did take out anything that was really out of date. Um, so yeah, we're looking really good. Really, really good. So happy with that, Mr. T's food. Now over here is a bit of a disaster. There's four rubbish bags there that we got out of the kitchen dining room. And this back here is all recycling that has to go out. I haven't taken it out for the simple reason. It is Baltic it. It's like minus three out. And the thought of getting wrapped up so warm to go out just to do the bins. I'll do it in the morning. So my bins aren't due tomorrow morning anyway, so but overall this is the kitchen. Great improvement. And it was well worth taking a rest just to come back and just finish it off. Now, sorry, just want to ask your opinion on something here. So we've moved obviously the table forward. These are going up on Mark Amazon Marketplace, or not Amazon, Facebook Marketplace to get rid of. So we've pulled the table out, which is fine. It's actually nice there. And it frees up room so people aren't bashing into this, this unit here. But this unit here, would you, now let me move some in front of the wall. So I don't know whether to move 
this unit under the here under the clock and stuff and have it centered in that wall or would you just leave it where it is I sort of don't mind it either way I just don't know if the middle of the wall is going to leave it a bit weird looking that's just in the middle of the wall I don't know I do not know right guys so that is in here done Carl took down the Christmas tree in the front room and took the thing off the wall so I'm going to tackle that when I come back from my holidays I do have a couch coming so I need to sort that out before I go so I think the next room no I'm not going to do a room next I'm actually going to do the washing that's what I think I'm going to move to next get all the washing done then I think I'm going to do my room and then the girls room and then that well the girls can do their own room I just need to dig a hole big enough to put my Christmas tree up for storage um, they were studying for exams so I can't really hold it against them they were studying for exams and they were here only a short time now they are coming back so they'll have to do it before they go on holiday but um yeah so I think that's the next thing in between I'm going to look up packing this and try to start getting stuff pulled out that, for my holidays see if anything needs washing the usual rubbish to have before you go on holidays but I want to get my room um all sorted I'm ready to go so when I come back off holidays it's just done it's just done don't even have to think about it Right guys, I will go and I will talk to you in my next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.